oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. My company did a rework. Now I've got a new manager right before annual review. So I'm really nervous on how that's going to impact my um, raise for next year. And you know how Ethan is. He's so distracted all the time and he's supposed to be doing school online. And all I catch him doing is looking at YouTube or playing video games when he's oh, supposed to be in no. class. Oh, just want to rattle him. Oh crap. Speaking of which, I'm. Um, I'm already late for my next meeting. So, um, all right, so I will send you that email by end of the day with that um, that spreadsheet, and then we'll just reconnect on it next week. Okay. Sound good? Okay, all right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Hey, I'm so sorry I'm a little bit late. How are you? Oh, Jenny, you are not gonna believe this. It's absolutely unbelievable. Do you remember that client that I told you about last week? Yeah. Do you ever feel like you are running around with your hair on fire? <laughs> Research has shown that women are suffering more during the pandemic than men are. We are feeling more pressure to get more work done, to always be on. We feel a sense of responsibility to everyone and everything. And then we've got these unbelievably long to-do lists for work and at home. So. By and large, as women, we kind of struggle with delegation. First of all, research shows we are less likely to do it. Number two, we don't like to do it because it feels too aggressive or too assertive. We also have a tendency to feel guilty when we delegate because we just feel like we're piling on other people's stress, especially now during the pandemic. And also, we can sometimes be work hoarders, because there's this thinking that the more I work, the more valuable I am. A lot of women have the mindset that it's hard work that will get us to the top, and that's not true. Uh, what hard work does is it gets us burned out. I mean, I'm not saying to work hard, but that's not the only thing that's going to get you to the top. It's also mentoring. It's actually talking about all of the things that you do. Um, so when it comes to delegation, we have to start being okay with letting things go. While it would be nice to do everything, it's not physically possible. Think of it as there is a double benefit when we delegate. So number one, we're taking things off of our plate, but number two, by giving more responsibility to um, subordinates or team members or our kids, we're actually creating an opportunity for them to develop their talents and skills. We also need to resist the, the thinking that Ugh, it's just faster and easier if I just do it myself. Well, it might be faster and easier that one time, but over time, it's not saving time because then it's taking more time. And also just being okay with starting small. You don't have to cannonball into the deep end of delegation. Hopefully these few tips will stop you from feeling like you are running around with your hair on fire. Or apparently, my wife can come and throw some water on you.